hey welcome today we're going to be looking at um, what the real effects real world effects of corrosive primers are um, now the corrosive primers primers are used by originally used by the military uh, because the non corrosives were uh, unstable and they haven't hadn't developed it so technically it's an old technology but corrosive primers um, well they, they they're more stable for longer which means your ammunition's way more reliable all right so the internet has these corrosive primers um, hyped up to be this big bad thing that you need to scrub your gun and pour boiling water down it and you know like rinse this and scrub your bore when really it's just as bad as sweaty palm hands sweaty sweaty uh, sweat on your hands um, this bolt here this is a Mosin Nagant or Mosin Nagant uh, rifle bolt uh, it's a Polish M44 and it has been is a perfect example on what these primers actually do all right so I got my Spyderco knife here um, you can see the pitting just here just there just there a bit there and all around there's a there's a little bit more around the edges but this this bolt I just uh, just purchased this firearm actually um, and this bolt has had corrosive primers fired in it and the last owner didn't clean it after, there goes my phone, the last owner didn't clean it after they had fired those uh, corrosive primers. So this has been at least a couple of months, uh, maybe three months since he, he last used the firearm. So the, these salts have been sitting here for three or four months um, uh, just on top of this, this steel here. Um, and so you can definitely see a ring from where where the, the the firing pin, which is this hole in the middle, has protruded, come out, hit your primer, set off the um, primer, then set off your main charge inside your um, inside your shell, and then that's projected the, the bullet out. Um, but what it's also done is every action has an equal and opposite reaction in the opposite direction. So therefore, there's been the the blowback effect onto the face of the bolt of your rifle all right and this is the pitting of you know th two or three months worth of just sitting in the safe so some people would think that this is you know this would be five minutes on the internet it's hyped up to be for you to believe that the pitting would you know this will happen in you know an hour you know it's going to kill your rifle it's going to you know <clears throat> it's be the end of it it'll rust it away and it'll be useless to you it will rust it away, but over time. So in World War II, they wouldn't have cleaned their rifles after every shot. And so, you know, if the corrosive primers were as bad as the internet has you, were to have you to believe, then we wouldn't have any Mosin and Nagants around because they'd be all just rust buckets. But, um, well, I, I'm, I'm yet to see a rifle that's rusted out due to um, corrosive primers alone and not lack of basic maintenance so this bolt face here was it's just basic maintenance it hasn't been wiped down um, with you know with a bit of solvent or even just a bit of oil after it's been used um, and therefore you've had this pitting for over a three month period I had pitting on the bolt here uh, sorry light surface rust and pitting um, and that was about the same as the bolt face which I just showed you of of this same rifle so your corrosive primers are about as bad as handling your firearm um, with sweaty hands now this steel here is unfinished so it's not blued it's what they call in the white uh, meaning there's no finish the only thing protecting it is oil and you just got to keep it really well oiled um, so that's been a quick overview of what I think uh, and the results my proof of what happens and how bad corrosive primers actually are in the real world um, not in this you know internet world where you have to pour boiling water and and, and you know scrub your rifle down um, it's all a bit of a uh, bit of hype a bit of a joke um, yeah alright well you guys stay safe and keep on uh, straight shooting